Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about concepts related to effects of sympathetic nervous system on renal blood flow. In our last lecture, we talked about determinants of renal blood flow and we discussed how to calculate the renal blood flow by calculating pressure gradient in total renal vascular resistance. We also discussed that inside the kidney, the most common sites or the most important sites where the renal vascular resistance is very high include the intralobular arteries, afferent arterioles and efferent arterioles. Now, any factor which can increase or decrease the resistance at these sites will act as a determinant of the renal blood flow. By increasing the pressure, the resistance in these sites will increase and renal blood flow will decrease. By decreasing the pressure and dilatation of these vessels, the blood flow will increase through the kidneys. Now, one of the most important determinant of renal blood flow is the activation of sympathetic nervous system. Now, the kidney as a whole is richly supplied with the nervous system, especially the sympathetic nervous system. In each and every part of the renal vasculature, starting from the renal artery to the afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole are richly supplied with the sympathetic nervous system. Now, normally in healthy human being, the sympathetics, normally the sympathetics do not have any role in increasing and decreasing the resistance at afferent or efferent arteriole and hence increase or decrease in the glomerular filtration rate, the GFR in urine formation. But there are some, uh, some there are some uh, conditions in which the, the sympathetic system may be mildly activated or strongly activated. So, the first condition is healthy human being. In healthy human being, sympathetics do not play a major role in controlling the blood flow through the uh, kidneys. Like there is normally no role. But in mild mild activation. In mild activation of the sympathetics, there may be slight increase in the constriction of the vasculature, especially the afferent or the efferent arterioles. Now, mild mild activation may occur due to slight drop in the blood pressure, due to slight drop in the blood pressure, or due to activation of the baroreceptors or chemoreceptors. Now, finally, strong contraction, strong activation. Sorry, strong activation of the sympathetic nervous system is occurs in you know, cerebral ischemia or severe hemorrhage can strong strongly constrict these arterioles and they can increase the resistance in these areas very much which will basically decrease the renal blood flow and hence the sympathetic nervous system will act as a major determinant of the renal blood flow and once the constriction occurs at these sites the GFR will decrease the filtration process will decrease which will ultimately have an effect on the urine formation. Now we have drawn the vasculature inside the kidney in this diagram and we have mentioned that the blood is coming through the renal artery then the interlobar artery the arcuate artery the interlobular artery then the afferent arteriole the glomerular capillaries then the efferent arterioles then the peritubular capillaries and then growing going to the venous system into the renal veins finally and the pressure initially is 100 millimeter of mercury in the renal artery but at the renal vein the pressure has decreased to around 4 millimeter of mercury now this decrease in pressure from 100 to 4 occurs along the vasculature but the biggest fall in this arterial pressure occurs at the lobular arteries, afferent arteriole, efferent arteriole and peritubular capillaries. Because at the start of interlobular arteries, the pressure is around 100 mm of mercury. But at the end of the peritubular capillaries, the pressure has fallen to around 8 mm of mercury. So these are the sites which can control the GFR, which can control the blood flow. Now the blood flow through these areas is important because this glomerular capillaries, if we explain it further, it is present like this. The afferent arteriole is bringing blood into the glomerular capillaries and then the blood, blood is leaving through the efferent arterioles. And the filtration process is occurring here. Now this is the site where filtration process is occurring. Urine formation is starting here. And then the filtrate is moving through the Bowman's capsule. Now the sympathetics, the sympathetic system will constrict or dilate these sites, the afferent or the efferent arteriole, due to which the blood flow may either increase or decrease. And when the blood flow increase or decrease, the filtration process may increase or decrease and the, hence the urine formation may increase or decrease. So that's how the sympathetic nervous system is acting as a control system for increasing or decreasing the GFR by controlling the renal blood flow and is acting as an important determinant of the renal blood flow. But how the constriction? When the constriction occurs, when the resistance at these sites increases, when the resistance at the afferent or the efferent arterioles increases or decreases, how it basically affects the GFR, how it affects the, G, the glomerular filtration rate. This is something which we have discussed in detail in our previous lectures. And if we enlarge this site, if we enlarge this site, we see that this is the afferent arteriole, this is the efferent arteriole, and this is the glomerular capillary. Now, inside the glomerular capillary, there are a lot of forces, the glomerular hydrostatic pressure and the glomerular colloid osmotic pressure. When the, 
when the pressure, when the constriction increases, the blood flow decreases and the glomerular hydrostatic pressure decreases due to which the filtration process decreases and urine formation process decreases. Similarly, slight increase in the efferent arteriolar resistance may increase the GFR, but severe increase in the efferent arteriolar constriction or resistance can decrease the GFR. So, the sympathetic system acts as a determinant and it acts as determinant, determinant by increasing decreasing resistance at the afferent or efferent arteriole. It, it has some effect on the other blood vessels like the renal, the interlobar, the arcuate arteries or the renal veins. But the site of maximum impact are the afferent and efferent arteriole. So when these areas are constricted, they have maximum impact. So sympathetic nervous system is important. It is uh, it is an important determinant of the renal blood flow. But how it acts? It acts by increasing the resistance. And when the resistance increases, the glomerular hydrostatic pressure decreases. When the glomerular hydro hydrostatic pressure decreases, the filtration process decreases. And that's how we can correlate this system, the activation of the system with the decrease in the GFR. And this is an important method for controlling the GFR. In the coming lecture, we will discuss other determinants of the renal blood flow like the hormonal systems. Thanks a lot for watching the video.